hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to work on another set of excel automation so i have been making a few videos on excel automation so they are already there in my channel if you want to take a look then you can have a look so this video is for a comment that i received on one of my previous excel automation video so this is specifically for that so what do we have to do in this video is so let's say if i have to append data at the end of my excel sheet but that data is coming from another sheet or workbook so what i need to do is i need to merge these two into a single file now before we work on the code if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please please do now let's work on the code so let's first talk about what I did in my previous video of Excel automation. So in that I just appended the uh, list of data to the Excel or workbook, right? So let's go with that first. So I'm going to use OpenPy Excel here that I am using uh, from my past videos as well. So this is a good library if you want to do excel automation now from this i'll just import load workbook so that i don't have to write it over and over again now uh, my file is at ctamp so i'll just provide the path here all right now I need to load this excel so i'll just create a workbook object and use load workbook method to load this good enough now i have to get the sheet which is active from this workbook and remember there can only be one sheet which can be active now i have the sheet with me now Previously, I created something like this, a dummy data, right? And I appended this data into my sheet using append method. So first, I iterated over this new data, and one by one, I appended it to the sheet. So this was the code that I wrote in my previous video. Now here we have to do something similar but not exactly. So let's first see what we have in this excel file so that we can look at the header and what columns do we have. Alright so this is the excel file. So here you can see that these many columns we have so we have first name last name gender country age date id this one should be uh, sn your serial number but it starts with zero so this is a dummy excel that i downloaded uh, from the net so uh, similarly i have another uh, excel file which is number two so here i have bunch of records so i have around 50 records here and in my previous excel file i had only nine so let's see that one more time so here you can see that we have nine so what i am expecting here is that in this sheet itself i will get to see the data from my second excel sheet so it should append here and get clubbed together into this sheet itself so that is what i have to do now let's write the code for this so I'll just remove this because we don't need it so uh, so this is what we did to load our first excel file similarly we have to load our second excel file as well so here we can do 2 and then let's load this and this is going to be our workbook 2 sheet 2 workbook 2 Alright, so now we have two sheet object with us. 
now I need to get row count and column count of my second sheet so that I can iterate over it and fill it into a list and then I can insert it to my sheet object so for that we have straightforward things provided to us so sheet 2 dot if I do main row sorry uh, max row then it is going to provide me the count and similarly for column we have max column good enough now we need to create a list object so this is going to be a list of list okay now we need to iterate over our second list so I'll just create two loops here and the range will start from 2 because we don't want to get header in this so we are going to skip the header so it is going to start from second till row count plus one all right now similarly we will have another loop for columns so this was uh, ith is for your rows and j is for your column right so j in range here it, it will start from one obviously and then we will have column count plus one now as I said this is going to be a list of list so we need to uh, have a list object as well so th so let's do this okay now let's get the value of that cell so for that we will just do sheet to dot cell and we will use the indexes here so here row equals to i and column equals to j dot value all right so we got the value now we will just add it to the list and then we will afterwards like when we are done with the first row then we will add this list to our list of list all right now we have the list of lists list object now we just need to append it so what I did in my previous video that is what we need to do now so we will iterate over this data from list of list and we will just append it okay so this is done so we have appended a data but now I don't want to alter the existing file if you want to do that then you can do it but I will I will create a new file for me so that I don't get confused right so I'll just save it with the name or oh, let's provide the entire path C temp and then I'll just do updated one dot Excel X S X all right so this is the code that we have to write for this now let's try to run this so that uh, we can confirm that this code is working so let's run this okay so we got syntax error okay so there was some issue with my plugin and right now it is all good so let's run it one more time okay so it seems it worked fine with no message as such but let's see if we have the file at this path c temp okay so we have the file with the correct time so let's open this okay so from row 1 to row 9 we have sheet 1 data and then it started with the second sheet data and we have 50 rows of data so this is good we got everything that we needed 
and this was it that I needed to do in this video uh, for the comment that I received on one of my video so if you have something like this um, that you want me to do it then uh, I would be happy to do it so just let me know on the comment section and I will create a video on that if needed so this is it for this video I hope that we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye